Hi everyone, today we're going to be um, learning a few things from Zimbra, which is the email uh, for ULL. Let's see, we're going to start. To get to your Zimbra, you can get to it from your Moodle page or ULink, and if you go to ULink, it'll be at the top right here in email, and then on Moodle, it will be at the top as well in the tabs. Um, so we're going to be learning how to use the calendar, how to take an exported calendar and put it into your Zimbra uh, calendar. We're also going to be learning how to use the task list and how to add a new task. We're going to learn how to add a folder so that you can organize yourself. And uh, we're also going to learn how to add a signature into your email. So first we're going to see how to use the calendar and how to export an external um, or import an external calendar. So first we're going to go to Moodle and we'll take 205 and we'll get the calendar from there. So you'll scroll down and click on your calendar. From there, go all the way to the bottom and you'll see export calendar right here. You're going to click on that and then just press for this month and get your calendar URL because you're going to need the URL. So you're going to copy it and you're going to take that with you to your email in Zimbra. So we're going to copy that. And then from there, we are going to go back to Zimbra and we're going to go to calendar okay in your calendar we're going to add an external calendar so right here press next let's go into iCal subscription and where it has the URL box we're going to paste it and press next name I'll put Kanice 205 and I will put it green and then put OK and then from there you'll be able to see whenever you have a assignments due or when they're coming up in this calendar um, then we'll go back to the mail Next is the task list and how to add a task. So at the top right here, you're going to press task. And as you can see, I started on one. Um, so let's come up here, go to task, and we will new task. I'm sorry. Come here. Press task. There you go. Um, subject, I'll put Kinesis uh, 205 responses. A normal priority task list. Status, I haven't started yet, so then it'll be 0%. Start date will be today. And then the due date, I'm going to put it for Saturday just so that I don't forget. And you can put a reminder if you want it and you press configure. and you'll press save at the top left up here top left and then it'll be right here in your upcoming events and whenever you're done you'll just be able to click in this little box and it'll tell you that you're done and then next we'll learn how to add a folder to the email box and that'll be on your left side right here if you go to the top in the little settings bar you press new folder I already have some right here but we'll just name this one Kines 205 and I'll put it blue since I don't have one. Press OK. Oh, I already have one that exists, so let's name this one 350. Press OK, and then you'll see it on the left right here. And anytime you have an email that you need to put in that, you just drag it, and it'll be saved into there. And the last thing is how to add your signature into an email. To do that, you will go into preferences at the top and on the left right here in the tab bar you press signature so 
we'll name this one my name Kate M. Falk. And then here I'll put a closing. Just for now, I'll put thank you. Put a couple of spaces and put my name. And then I'll put my CLID just for teacher's use. And then it'll always be here whenever you need. And that is how you use Zimbra. Thank you.